In this video we're going to talk about the selection formats option down here. Now the selection formats basically define how the buttons on the data collection appear to you. So for instance if I go to open last year's study here, the selection formats is what's causing this to come up in blue with a yellow writing here, green underlined. Uh, if I go into my delays, for instance, I've got some non-value added information and you can see the weight orders and parts out are non-value added. Those are colored in, in red here. The conveyors are maintenance item. These are all defined in the uh, in the selection formats. So if I basically just come, see I'm done here. These selection formats are defined down here towards the bottom of the main menu. I select the selection formats. It will automatically pop up with the data entry screen because it's assuming you want to make some entries here. But I can remove that just by hitting the uh, little uh, back button down here. And now you can see the predefined formats. These are the formats you actually saw in the data collection screen a minute ago. Remember the walk was blue with yellow and non-value added was red with white and so forth. So that's what you're seeing right here. You can actually define any number of formats that you want here, you can manage all these. So let's say I wanted to add one for packing and I'm going to say this is my pack element. And now it's going to ask for a background color. So you click on the selection button here and it pops up all the available colors that you can pick from. So let's say I wanted to make this one the cyan color and then I want to select the font color and I'm going to just use a, maybe a dark blue font on that one. And then my font size in this one is going to be, let's say I want to make it particularly big, so I'll make it like 36 here. So I'm going to tap on 36, and I want it to be bold. So you check the properties you want to see bold, and maybe you want italic as well, so we can do bold and italic. And that's it. Now I can either save it uh, as a template, in which case you just touch here. And if I come down here, get rid of the display here by hitting the back button here. There you can see it. So pack. This is 36 font and it's bold. Right, so that's the characteristics of it right here. So we've now got that available to us here. So we, we can define these ones any way that we want. We find that people tend to use the same formats over and over again. So once you've got a definition for the formats that you like, you might want to save them as defaults. If you do that, you just click on save as defaults and that will be there now. So you can call that default up anytime just by clicking on use defaults. Now obviously you won't see any difference here, but maybe I switch to another study. So if I click on cancel here, I select another template. I'm going to go to my warehouse study here. And you can see if I come down here, my selection formats are different, right? These are not the ones that we just saw a moment ago here, but maybe I want to apply the same defaults. So I just click on use defaults. And all the ones I just defined are now presented to me. And that will be the formats that are used in this particular template. So the idea here is that you might decide upon a, a set of formats that you want to use over and over again. You can define them here. And we'll talk more about how a new template actually inherits these properties as it's brought in as we go uh, further into this, this section here. The other things you can do here is obviously you can delete them and edit them. These are the delete and edit. So maybe I wanted to delete my uh, maintenance option. I can just touch the little uh, bin here and you'll get prompted to see if you want to delete it, yes or no. If I want to edit it, I, let's say I want to edit my uh, pack properties, you saw that being set here. So I might touch the little uh, pencil here and these are the properties we set. Let's say I want to make it bigger even. So we can click on this and we can go all the way up to 50 font, which is pretty big. And I save that as a template here. You can see it's starting to make it bigger here. So you can change these any way that you want to represent the data that's going to be presented to you on the screen to make it more attractive for the data collection point of view. When you're finished, just click on cancel and those will be saved and ready to be used in your template.